How's it going, everyone? Caleb here with Lane Sports Cards. We've got an Evolving Skies booster box. This time going to be for Olivier S. Good luck, man. See what we can find in your booster. All right, good luck, Olivier. Love disc reverse. Catcher reverse hydrogen first hollow of the box for you. There you go. Good start, Olivier. Looks like Forrest just sent a picture of the booster he ripped at home. I'll have to uh, update you guys shortly on how he did. Gear dose V. It is pretty cool seeing uh most of the people work here are pretty big Pokemon fans. A lot of the sorters and shippers are. Uh Forrest has bought a couple things now. As you guys know, Brad used to always play Pokemon all the time in his childhood, the TCG. He's got uh some nice stuff. He really loves Pokemon. Nice, Umbreon VMAX. Sweet card. Nice Umbreon. It's real cool to see everyone bonding over Pokemon. Rich, yep, Rich is uh, learning more and more every single day, Mustache. <laughs> every day. But I know Rich is a Rich is a big Pokemon supporter. He's got some nice stuff in his collection, as far as uh, Pokemon cards go and whatnot. Some cool vintage cards. Uh, he's got a vintage Charizard card sign signed by the artist. Uh, if you guys aren't aware, the artist um, that created the Charizard card no longer signs Charizard cards, so. At least that's the rumor. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's like a pretty confirmed rumor, though. So having one of the signed Charizard cards by the artist is pretty cool, man. I think it's mid-grade. PSA 6, I believe it was. Glarian Articuno Hollow. Nice. Nice, got a full art Sylveon V. Nice full art there, man. There you go, Olivier. Solid full art. Like the look of that one. Very cool, Sylveon. Shift tree, Semzatoad. Skip Loom. Zoroark, Hollow. What you guys got today, Nebraska or Illinois? I saw your message, Forrest. I uh, did not did not look at it yet, though. I will after this box.
It's a really Don V. <laughs> Drampa. Hopip, Eldegas Hollow, <laughs> yeah, Nicholas, you nailed it, man. <laughs> that was funny. Marshadow Hollow. Bravery, wishy-washy, flaffy. Hey, you got a rainbow forest. Not horrible. Pincer. I actually really like that Lichen Rock full art. I have not seen that one yet. Glacian V Max, Leafion V, Rayquaza V. Yeah, definitely not the best box, but hey, a rainbow. I really like that Lichen Rock though. That's a cool card. Dialga, Appleton. They did well with the full arts in this set. They've done well with the full arts for like the last year now though. They've really made them great since like, since right around Vivid Voltage, I've really liked all the full arts after that set. Thievul. All right, come on, Olivier. Let's find something nice for you, man. Appreciate you as always, my brother. <clears throat> nice. Espeon VMAX. Heating up a little bit. There you go. Good Espeon pull. So yeah, guys, we've got a little bit of space left for the day. I'm going to be going until about 3.30 Eastern time. Uh, if you're interested in picking... Oh my goodness. We've done it, guys. Rayquaza VMAX alternate art. Boom! There she is. Ho, ho, ho. Second one we've hit so far. Congrats, Olivier. That's awesome, man. Wow. I saw the side of it, and I think I knew what it was. <laughs> that was so cool, guys. Wow. Whew. Beautiful. Very nice looking card. Looks pretty centered. Didn't see any white spots on the back. Beautiful Rayquaza. Congrats, Olivier. Chris, was it you that got the other one yesterday? I don't remember. Wow, man. Such a beaut. Congrats, Olivier. Gonna get that one magged right after this break, man. Shipped that out to your priority. <clears throat> That one snuck up. Nice, Chris. Yeah, I do remember that now. You were saying it was uh, your first TCG uh, experience. That's that's quite the way to start. The booster boxes are on fire right now, guys. The previous two had two alternate arts, and this one had the Rayquaza. That's funny, Chris. Stormy Mountains, Garbodor V. 
That's actually some incredible luck too, Chris. <laughs> it's a tough pull, man. It's, it's going to come out. The pack odds will... The estimated pack odds will come out eventually. It's probably going to be about 1 in 400 or 1 in 500 packs, I would guess. It's pretty similar to what the last set was. Well, yeah, that's that's going to be a, a good first one to hold. <laughs> hey, appreciate you dipping your toes in, though, Chris. Learning a bit, man. That's awesome. Can't do better than that, though. Dialga Hollow. What's up, Flip? How's it going, man? It's been a fantastic morning here now. You gotta be at probably about a half dozen alt arts by now. We just got the Rayquaza. Fletchender. Yep. Definitely, Chris. I think that was maybe Pokey Rev's video that you were checking out. He always does uh round release huge pack openings in the new sets. Definitely uh one of the YouTubers I love to watch. Got Rich watching him as well. <laughs> PokeRev does it good though. It's got a great system. Zorark Hollow. Yeah, that's gonna be awesome to watch flip. It's definitely gotta be a different feeling when your hometown's in the championship like that, man. And I, f I remember right, Flip, I'm pretty sure they don't have to face that pitcher that has the ridiculous stats. I don't even remember what the stats were, but I remember looking. He was averaging, like, over two strikeouts an inning, which doesn't even make sense. <laughs> so, pretty sure they don't have to face him, though. Uh, you might remember. But, yeah, that kid's going to be ridiculous if he uh, keeps working hard. Putting up some insane numbers. Yep. Yep, that's how Little League works. They get you with that, man. Remember that from my back in the Little League days, man. Get to 59 pitches, you're out. Gotta save you for the next game, man. Get that arm ready to go. Yeah. Gives your team a decent chance, then. Good luck, Flip. It's gonna be a fun one to watch. Hopefully they're able to bring back the uh, international teams. Ludicolo Hollow. Hopefully they're able to bring back the international teams to the Little League World Series next year. I really do miss watching uh, some of the cool highlights that you'd see from uh, the off-field highlights more than the on-field, honestly. It, it was awesome seeing uh, those international kids come over and learn a bit about our culture and stuff. Yeah. Glacian V. There you go. Icing on the cake for you there, Olivier. Glacian. Yeah, I think I personally enjoyed watching the all the off-field content that you got to see of the, the Chinese Taipei teams or the Caribbean teams and all that. Just learning the culture. That was always so cool to watch when I was younger. Eldegas Hollow. <clears throat> Scrafty. Altaria. Crustal. Not bad at all, Flip. Not bad at all. All tarts are what you want to see, man. Victini, Smeargle, and Bravery. All right. Olivia, man, congrats again on that beautiful Rayquaza card, man. Show that again one more time quick before it gets all magged up here. Just gorgeous. Congrats again, man. Get that right out to you safely, and we appreciate you. Congrats, man. <laughs> 